Hey, welcome back to Flannel Farms. My name is Brian, and I made a mistake. We purchased a trailer to build an egg mobile on, kind of like the other egg mobile that we've built that you can see here. So we have 10 Delaware whites that are our meat birds that we want to breed. And we have 50 roosters, well they're cockerels technically, of various sizes. And we want to put them all out in the field. So I was gonna build another large egg mobile and have it split in half until I went to my local big builder store and saw how much prices are to build things. So we have adjusted our build. We're gonna build two separate coops, much smaller, because the runs are already behind electric fencing. So let's get to building some chicken coops. What I'll do is I will list the materials that I bought, how much it cost, and some rudimentary directions in the description of this video if you want the details. Otherwise, we're just gonna build it and show you how it goes. So we've stood it up on its side and there's something I wanted to show you guys. Because we're going to be dragging this around in the field, we're using a heavy duty pressure treated base. We put the round side on the bottom so you have less friction. And then if you'll notice down here that this board is facing and then here you have this one facing. So they're not all inside or all on the edges. That way when you pull this board, it pulls against here but then it's also screwed in sideways from this one. So you don't have just one way that screws come out. There's a couple ways you can reinforce this. One of them is you can put a 45 in here from corner to corner. This is a pretty small floor space. This whole little area is gonna be flat. We've just tilted it on its side. So we don't wanna take anything away from our birds. So we're gonna put kind of like a gusset plate up. We've cut a couple of these six to eight inches long and what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw it into this board and then we're gonna screw it into this board. So this board is screwed into this board and then you'll have screws going in this way and here. And that should prevent our tractor from pulling apart. Without using bolts, lags, chains, hope. Super glue, threats. zero percent interest. All right, back to time lapse.
That's it. Let's see what time is it. You know what time it is? I don't know what time it is. It is three o'clock in the afternoon. I started this at about one. So this is, well for me it was a two hour build, probably an hour getting material. Let me walk you through what we've done. So this is our door. It's just a little triangle. I didn't build a latch on it on purpose because it's going to sit. First of all, it snugs pretty tight, but it's gonna sit inside some fencing, some electrified fencing. So that is gonna be the door that they come in and out of. It is gonna stay open most of the time. That's how we put this little screw over here. Just tuck in right there. And it will stay open enough for the chickens to come in and out. Those are roost runs for them. This is a vinyl roofing because it's less expensive than tin. This is a piece of like Formica countertop I had lying around. And this is some very inexpensive aluminum flashing. So each one of those eight foot pieces of aluminum was $23. So that's 46 bucks in the roof. Everything else was stuff I had lying around except for the landscape logs. And I only bought two of those. So this build for me was like 60 bucks. Before anybody says, well you could have done this and you could have done that. Most of this is stuff I had lying around. So I'm using stuff I have lying around. Is 10 better than vinyl? Yes, but it was $40 a sheet instead of 23. Is the plastic back better than wood? No, it's not. Would it be nice if I had an actual like tall door? Sure, but I've built the Tick and Chaj Mahal when prices were cheaper. Prices are stupid right now. So this is what I had lying around. The reason I say all that is don't listen to me about what type to build. Don't listen to anybody else on YouTube about what type to build. If you have stuff lying around that will work, build it out of stuff you have lying around that will work. Use the most inexpensive things. It's better to have it inexpensively than to not have it when you need it. This is waterproof, it's dry, it's safe, it's gonna be behind netting. My chickens are going to have a lovely time. And it actually is pretty light, because it's only four foot. So even if I don't have a tractor to drag it around with, it doesn't matter. Now this is just for meat birds. This is my 10 breeding meat birds that are gonna stay in here for resupplying my flock. So I don't have to go in and out of here for eggs or any of those other things except when I want them to breed. So we have the big egg mobile for our egg flock. This is just a place to keep them warm and dry so they can do their business and give me more meat birds. So we're gonna build another one of these for the roosters. We have 50 meat bird roosters but it's gonna be three times larger. But this gives you the general idea. So I'm gonna take it out into the field. I'm gonna let you go for now. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, grow as you grow. We'll see you next time. Bye. In and out of. So it's going to just stay open. Lost my camera.